wall is sure looking good lately. Best Abbott found some more paint. Holly, are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Wow. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. Correct. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? I mean, you'll be taking on all of his care, and I'm afraid he needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And then, of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Wow, 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 wow. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Wow. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks. And arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. Sorry, mate. I was... Uh, uh, why Why was so aggressive? You're one of them? Okay, at least the game could tell me this is an aggressive, a aggressive answer. Hmm. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Another some kind of failsafe. Either way? I need to find Sean. Right. Your speculation is getting us off track. 
Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Hmm. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I might have. Yep. Kellogg. Yes. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head. Scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stand. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Ellie? You two be careful. Nick. Yeah. Oops. Good talk, Nick. Good freaking talk. Okay. This is bad. I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and it. everyone forgets he's a freaking he kid. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The MO is all hemmed as well. MO? A small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later. <laughs> Any much in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Weird case, is it not, Mr. Nick? Yeah, my doing. Hey. Shoot. Piper. Something to say? Your thoughts? Anything I can do? You just say the word. Your thoughts? Doing the right thing rarely makes you popular. But I don't think I could live with myself otherwise. Nothing else for now. Sure. Let's go. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you. But a guy like Kellogg would think big. Handcuffs, cooking pots, cooking pots, cutting board, check out that desk, stained corn. You've seen better days, haven't you? I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Switch, button. There it is. There it is. This is what I missed. First time I came here. Look at this. All of the Merc's favorite things. Bone cutter. 
pulse mine recoil compensate powerful rifle <whistles> okay Impacts, he won't need that. That's it. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So, this is where the mod, this is where parts of the mod are hidden. Here, look at that. Wow. Heads up. Where to? Funny. Very funny. Looks good on you. There, you can use that armor. You can use that armor. You always pry this much into the motives of your traveling partners? Just the ones I find particularly interesting. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? Enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Hmm. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid some Institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Scared, huh? Could have fooled me. I'm pushy, not crazy. Honestly, these days I'm more scared for my sister. I don't know what I'd do if something happened to her. But I'm not the only one with something to lose. That's why people deserve to know what's out there, good or bad. Truth creates fear, suspicion, anger. How does that keep people safe? I'm not saying it's without its consequences. But in my experience, it's worth it. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he described it. Well, uh... One day, our dad turned up dead. His captain, asshole named Rayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I stopped making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was going to leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wasn't listening. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. And the mayor sure wanted to talk after that. The town threw Mayburn out on his ass and was dug in with a very surprised group of raiders. Piper, you saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. I did not want to say this. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Did not want to say that, actually. 
Heads up. Hmm? Piper. What's going on? Your thoughts? Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for plenty. That's all for now. All right. We're talk. Missed. I, she just started talking. I did not. I was not not even paying attention, and I missed a few inputs. So oh well.